spider blade. You could never do this before. This rounded blade allows you to cut. It's also a metal cutting by metal blade and it's got another blade on top that's also from metal cutting. Spider blades. It's a blade of my choice. Check them out and you'll like it yourself. Okay, this is the beginning of this custom stain job. Yesterday I used coffee to get it to this color that you're looking at now. Okay, and there it is with the custom stain I blended. All right, and we're matching. I'm going for matching this door here, all right, as close as possible, but it doesn't have to be exact, as close. Good. Yeah. All right, that's a half inch spacer on the floor. I use a piece of drywall. All right, but we're up a half inch. Okay. It's a level across. Mark your holes. Drill, pre drill for your screw. And I'm using these big screws. All right lag bolts and uh, it'll go through that header board and through the drywall and into the stud all right now once again it's up at a half inch they're above the floor all right now we're going to take care of getting this all leveled out okay so now this is how we're going to do it. Right, come on. All right, quickest, easiest way. My last video, um, it was too, it made it too difficult. All right, this is the quickest, best way. All right, we're going to raise this up now. We're going to get it level up. Push, hold it in place. Okay, that tells me I'm level. All right, now I'm going to mark the bracket with these holes. Okay, that's right here. Now, I have a 2 by 4 nailed against my stud flat. All right, so I made like an L. And uh, with the 2 by 4s And uh, that's how I'm able to put these brackets in right here. So I've got my stud and then flat against it. I've made like a corner and it's so I've got the two by four here face for the backing. All right. You hold this up right here. Hold that bracket up right there. No, no, push back here on the back side. Okay, now I gotta check it for level. We're good there. All right, now we're gonna check over here where I mark. All right, we're looking good. All right, hold up on that bracket. And then back, all right. All right, now I can drill. Okay, now we'll be drilling. All right, I'm gonna have to drill out this bracket. It is a little too small of a hole so I'm gonna have to drill this hole out so I won't have any snags safe in the middle and then I'm gonna reverse to start it that's why we go in reverse to get it started I don't want to 
to put this in a vise um, with the clamp it down and then I'll Alright, so this is what you don't do. Got to get this clamp down and uh, I may have to move the t to a different table altogether, but I'm trying to make this work. Alright, so stay tuned. Success. Okay, and I'll have to do this with the rest of them. That way, it'll go through. All right, and uh, it'll be secure. There it is. All right. See the wrench. All right, I'm gonna have to take out this bolt, this lag nut here. So we don't want to scrape up. Now, if there wasn't any paint on this rail, if I didn't paint it, I wouldn't be concerned about this, but I don't want to scratch up the paint. Okay, and so that's why we're doing this. All right, now the brackets are all on in place. Now I'm going to get this door in place. Right, right where I want it to sit when I'm finished. Okay. And it's up on half inch piece of the drywall. So that's what we have to use the drywall. And we just need to be up about a half inch. Okay, and that's basically where I want it to sit. Okay. Now. Now when I drilled these, I drilled them so that it would be snug. Um, you want to drill, you want to use a drill bit just a little bit smaller than whatever lag bolt you're going to use. Now I'm going through the drywall into the stud. Now once again, I have my stud and then I have a 2x4 nail to the side of that stud. All right, for the backing all the way down this wall. And that will serve for the anchor, where it's gonna, what's gonna, the lock to the bottom, down here, middle of the door. And uh, so keep that in mind. I created what's called the California corner, basically. And I'm using that part for backing. All right. You want to make sure that uh, the socket is uh, connected to your socket wrench and it falls in place. Okay, next. And I created that again on this side. 
Once again, I have the two by four nailed flat to the side of the stud. Okay. And I like everything tight. That's why I'm threading this in here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to adjust this a bit here. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this going to over and then get this. All right, I'm gonna have to play with this here. Okay, now the hook has come up, has come off on the back side of the bracket here. It's holding the rail, the rail bracket. And so, you know, part of the deal is kind of binding. And um, so I'm gonna have to make adjustments to that. Okay. This just keeps it real. Okay. Now, put that nice and tight, bring this over. I'm gonna hold this together. I may use some tape if I need to. All right. Okay, to hold that while I get this in place. Okay, this is doing good. Keeps it real. All right. Now, pinching that up nice and snug. Now it's going right into that backing stud, that flat stud nailed to the stud. All right, I've obviously lost a little ball out of this socket wrench. Gotcha. All right. Now, and this is going into a stud as well. I um, was not happy. Um, I've seen guys use those plastic anchors and those plastic anchors are just not going to hold up. You can't go wrong by going into your stud. Okay. All right, I'm not going to bore you with getting this one in. Um, but when I get this anchored completely, I will show you the functioning of the door as I keep dropping that off of this 
ratchet that's missing the holding bearing, ball bearing in there. Can you hear me that quick? All right, go ahead and pause that. All right, there we have it, folks. Now, I don't have the nut in the back here, so it wants to swing, all right? So I have to hold it here. You can see this functions just fine. And uh, this was tight, and we have to hold it. It's a little snug, not bad. Bam, here we are right there. Well, there you have it, folks. Well, this is Home Improvement Tips. I'm Ken. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've got the trim yet to put up. Here is a precursor of what the trim is going to look like. Let me clean. All right. The trim is bull nose on the left and right side with a three-quarter bull nose, three-quarter inch one by oak. All right, same at, same at the header board. And this is going to go around the edge right here for the trim all the way around and trim it out with this homemade, this homemade trim I'm making. So save for future reference. I will be putting the series of staining this door with coffee in the custom staining I did after that um, on this door and uh, that'll be in the description I may put it down in the comments you know so thank you for watching home improvement tips aka easy to tips and tricks all right and you can see this is just slightly above and then I can make the adjustments up there at the top all right right up here I've got the nut and bolt I can make adjustments and fine-tune it up there all right well, thanks again appreciate your time and support it means a lot you know that we stand you know how do we make it happen and as always never give up because there's always a way always Bye for now. Tell a friend it's a win, win, win.